Hi, welcome to the Snack Bar. I'm David. This week we don't have any good, really good movies to talk about, but we're going to talk about the major releases anyway. The first one is G.I. Joe Retaliation. This is a sequel to the last G.I. Joe movie, which very few people saw. I'm not sure it made enough money to warrant a sequel. Certainly wasn't the quality that would warrant a sequel. But you know what? They're back. There's action. And this time it's in 3D. Let's take a look at one of the really action-packed scenes from this film. Yeah, okay, so there's a lot of action in this film, and the 3D is actually very good. The way they, they made every stuff come out the screen, and it comes in sideways sometimes. That, Like I said, the 3D is good. Unfortunately, the film isn't. There is a lot of action. But let's take a look at another scene with The Rock and Channing Tatum. In, he's only in it a few minutes, but he is one of the stars of the film. Brother Block, as always, sir. you mind leading us in a few words, please, sir? Give me more words of Jay-Z. <laughs> Whatever deity may guide my life, dear Lord, don't let me die tonight. But if I shall before I wake, I'd accept my fate. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, the basic plot of the film is a, a Cobra operative has infiltrated the White House and is, not, is taking the place of the president. And so he's going to try and kill all the Joes, but of course he doesn't get them all. And then they come back to try and go after him. So it's a blah, blah, blah film with the occasional spurts of action. But the, it's so unbelievable. The acting is so mediocre that I really hated this movie. I wanted to leave after like 15 minutes into it. So therefore, G.I. Joe Retaliation one bag of popcorn. Just avoid this one at all costs. Run screaming from your friends if they say we have to go see G.I. Joe. Stephanie Myers is back. Her latest movie, or latest book rather, called The Host is now turned into a movie starring Saoirse Ronan as a young girl who is part of the resistance against an alien invader in Earth. And let's take a look at a quick scene from that one. Do it. I'd rather die. It's impossible. You're human. Wait! Look at me. Look, look, look at me. I'm human. Get off me. So these alien creatures have invaded Earth, and what they've done is they've taken over everyone's body. And when they do that, you get a little circle of light in your eyes so everybody can tell whether you're human or not. There's only a very few hum human resistance left. And in this film, or this next clip, we see what happens when one of the enforcement agents talks to the girl, Sirshu Ronan, after she's been taken over but has feelings for her human friend. It gets kind of weird, but let's take a look at it. Do you pity them, the humans? Don't you? In your other lives, have you ever felt anything like this? They were brutal, killing each other, killing their planet. I'm lucky they survived as long as they did. I do have some good news. Your identification of Jared Howe has helped. It was a sighting. I am confident we will find him. No! So 
now you've seen the action from the movie, and the rest of it is just long, slow, and boring. And of course, there's the Stephanie Myers love triangle going on with the Sirshu Ronan actually representing two people and two different guys. Or anyway, it gets so confusing, it's so boring. That, but it is better than the Twilight films. Therefore, the host, two bags of popcorn, but I really, really don't recommend you spend any money seeing this movie. Well, now it's time for us to meet with our Hollywood insider. This guy is so deep, he knows everything. Are you there, sir? I'm here. Okay, great. First of all, I want to start off by congratulating you on your predictions for last week. You were dead on on the top three, and you probably gave admission a little bit too much credit, but you were right on, on the top five. I, I am very, very impressed. Well, thank you very much. I'm the man. <laughs> that you are. So let's talk about this week's box office. What's going to happen with G.I. Joe and the host? Oh, boy. I, I, it's going to be interesting. G.I. Joe is going to be number one at uh, 37 million, 38 million. The Croods is going to come in number two at 28 million. I'm going to throw you a curveball here. Tyler Perry's Temptation is going to be number three at 18 million. Yeah, His that's... films do well this time of year, even the non Medea films. So that'll be number three. And that one, they never, they never screened his films for, for critics, so I can't comment on it. Right, right. That's, uh, that's something they never do. Olympus has fallen. 16 million, hanging in there at number four. Uh, the host uh, is not performing well on social media. Uh, the Twilight series is not going to help it that much, so that's going to come in at 15 million at number five. And then I'll just throw an odds at number six at 13 million. Wow, I'm surprised. I'm not, after seeing the host, I'm not surprised. But uh, that, that's terrific. We'll keep track of this and get back to it next week. I really wish they would show us uh, the Tyler, well, maybe I don't wish they'd show us the Tyler Perry movies. <laughs> Let's, uh, so what's going on in Hollywood? Well, we have a, a couple of tidbits. I was, I was really, really excited to see that Robert Redford is going to be in the new Captain America film, The Winter Soldier. Has that, that's, that's now been confirmed? Uh, that has been confirmed, yes. Wow, that's great. Yeah, I, I love Robert Redford. Uh, Christoph Waltz is going to be in The Muppets again. <laughs> that, that's a, a double Academy Award winner, so that's exciting. And I know this is going to sound like a straight-to-DVD, but it's not. Val Kilmer and Anthony Edwards are with Disney doing Planes. Oh, Planes, their new animated film, which is... Yeah. It's, now, it's not Pixar, it's Disney animation. Right, but it is set in the world of cars, as I understand it. Yes, yes, uh, along with Stacey Keach and Terry Hatcher. And uh, Val Kilmer and Anthony Edwards play Bravo and Echo, respectively. So <laughs> really excited about that one. That should be interesting. Well, that, I really appreciate you coming on and letting us know this um, amazing stuff. And again, we'll keep, our, keep an eye on the box office, and I'm sure that you'll be right up, there, right up there again. So we'll talk to you next week. Thank you very much, Hollywood Insider. By the way, I like your tie. Thank you. And keep close track of it because I want you to congratulate me again next week. <laughs> I will. All right. Thank you. And now let's take a look at the home entertainment uh, DVDs and Blu-ray that's out this week. And there's some good ones and there's some bad ones and there's some that are massively overrated. Let's start with one of the most overrated films of the year, Lincoln. Now this got a Academy Awards. I'm, Daniel Day-Lewis is absolutely brilliant in this film. But the film overall is dry and boring. It's like the worst teacher, most boring teacher you ever had in school trying to tell you about how the 13th Amendment was passed. And I really was depressed about that. Also, uh, Spielberg does it again where he t adds a scene on at the end that wasn't necessary. There was a perfect ending. It didn't end where it was supposed to. But, you know, on the DVD or Blu-ray, you can actually turn it off where you want to. Lincoln, two bags of popcorn. I was very disappointed in it. Then we have another film that came out this year that actually no one saw. Brad Pitt starred in Killing Them Softly, where he plays a hitman. Unfortunately, the vast majority of the scenes are with him and Richard Jenkins sitting in a car talking. It's really boring for, from beginning to end. It's a good cast, but I don't recommend it. If you have nothing else to do and there's, you know, I mean, there's a blackout on television, maybe watch Killing Them Softly. Also, two bags of popcorn. 
And now we don't do this very often, but there's a TV series called Continuum that's on the Sci-Fi Channel. The first season is out on Blu-ray, and this is actually a pretty good series. What happens is it's set in the future, and as they're about to execute some criminals who tried to overthrow the government, they get thrown into a time vortex and taken to today, and along with them goes a cop. Now, she doesn't know what's going on, they do. So they go ahead, they, they're gonna start the revolution early, and she has to try and stop them by working with the local cops, but of course they have futuristic weapons and all that. But it, you know, it's a nice little science fiction series if you like sci-fi stuff, and I do. Continuum, three bags of popcorn for that first series. Starts off really good, and then of course it becomes a TV series, so three bags of TV. Uh, but then we have one of the best films in a long time. This film is, is pretty old. It's called Beautiful Girls. This is the first time it's on DVD. Natalie Portman, when she was a kid, this was like her third movie. It's got a huge cast, including Timothy Hutton and Uma Thurman and, and uh, just, just about everybody you can think of. It's really, really well done. One of my favorite films from the time period. A great cast, a nice romantic comedy. Beautiful Girls, four bags of popcorn. If you haven't seen it, and I'm guessing you haven't, Go out and rent this one, stream it, whatever it takes. See this film. You'll, you'll be happy that you did. And then this week, don't forget, every Friday you can see me on CBS 5 Morning News, sometime around 5.50 or 6.20, there, you know, thereabouts. And they also pick up uh, Arizona, uh, was it Arizona Player Magazine, where I have an article in there every week on movies and DVDs. And now, let's take a look at a film that's coming out next week. And, of course, we'll be back next week. Don't forget to listen to all the shows on the Double Wide Network. I'd like to thank Nails for everything he did today, keeping the show running and making me look good when I clearly don't. So let's take a look at a film for next week called the Place Beyond the Pines that has a tremendous cast. I mean, you've got Bradley Cooper and Ryan Gosling and Eva Mendez and Ray Liotta. This, this looks really good. Let's take a look at it. You want a house? I'll get you a house. You want to get the f out of here? I'll get out of here. I got that trailer. I'll get a truck. We'll hit the road. You pick a place you like, we'll stop. You don't want to be there. We're out of there. What about my mom? She can go. What about Kofi? He can stay. He can get his own girl and his own kid. That's every man's right. It sounds like a nice dream. Bro. Oh. 